we're asked to evaluate each expression for the given value of the variable. In this first example, we have y squared. We want to evaluate y squared when y equals negative 2 sevenths. To do this, we substitute negative 2 sevenths for y and then evaluate. Well, we know y squared means we have two factors of y. So performing the substitution, we'd have y squared equals the square of negative 2 sevenths. One way to evaluate this would be to expand. Again, we know we have two factors of negative 2 sevenths. A negative times a negative is positive, so the product is positive. The numerator is 2 times 2, which equals 4. The denominator is 7 times 7, which equals 49. So the expression y squared equals 4 49ths when y equals negative 2 sevenths. But I also want to show how we can simplify the square of negative 2 sevenths another way. So going back to y squared equals the square of negative 2 sevenths, this time let's write negative 2 sevenths as negative 2 over 7. Instead of expanding, what we can do is square the numerator and square the denominator. So this fraction squared is equal to the square of negative 2 over the square of 7. It is important that we put the base in parentheses, though, so that we have the correct base. If we left the parentheses off the numerator, this would be incorrect. For a quick review, remember, if we have the opposite or negative 2 squared, here we have one negative sign and two factors of 2, which equals negative 4. Because we want two factors of negative 2, we need the parentheses. The square of negative 2 means negative 2 times negative 2, which equals positive 4. So the square of negative 2 is positive 4. The square of 7, or 7 squared, is 49, giving us the same result. Next we have q cubed, or q to the third power, when q equals negative 2 thirds. So q cubed is equal to three factors of negative two-thirds, or the cube of negative two-thirds. Again, we can evaluate this by expanding. We'd have three factors of negative two-thirds. Notice here we have a negative times a negative times a negative, which is negative. The numerator is two times two times two, which equals eight. The denominator is three times three times three, which equals 27. Another way to evaluate this would be to say q cubed equals the cube of negative two-thirds. Again, let's write negative two-thirds as negative two over three. And now we can cube the numerator and cube the denominator. So we'd have the cube of negative two over the cube of three, or three cubed. The cube of negative two equals negative eight. And the cube of three, or three cubed, equals 27. And of course, the result is the same. And now for the last example, we have d to the fourth when d equals negative four thirds. So d to the fourth is going to be equal to the fraction of negative four thirds raised to the fourth power. Evaluating by expanding, we have four factors of negative four thirds. The product of four negatives is positive, and the numerator is four times four times four times four, which equals 256. The denominator is three times three times three times three, which equals 81. Looking at the second method for evaluating the fraction of negative four thirds raised to the fourth, we'd have d to the fourth equals, again, let's write the fraction of negative four thirds as negative four over three, and then raised to the fourth. So we'll raise the numerator and denominator to the fourth power. So we'd have the base of negative four raised to the fourth over three to the fourth. Negative four to the fourth is positive 256. And three to the fourth is equal to 81. And finally, before we go, let's verify our results on the graphing calculator. So we'll first enter the square of negative two sevenths. So open parenthesis, negative two divided by seven close parenthesis, squared, enter. To convert the decimal to a fraction, we press math, enter, enter. We do get 4 49ths. Next, we have the cube of negative 2 thirds, open parenthesis, negative 2 divided by 3,
close parenthesis, raise the power of three, enter. Math, enter, enter. We do get negative eight twenty-sevenths. And then finally, we have the fraction of negative four-thirds raised to the four. Open parenthesis, negative four divided by three, close parenthesis, raise the power of four, enter. And math, enter, enter. And we do get 256 81st. I hope you found this helpful.